few early morning at the point a couple of waves a bit of an onshore swell we've got light variable conditions today so yeah first comp of the year we finally got a day more or less super nice morning a couple of guys in the water ready with vests on looks like they've already started the guys are just set up down the bottom of the beach so i'm at the wrong car park so back from cape town got back day before yesterday to sort a lot of stuff out zodiac's looking awesome so yeah hopefully now this bloody summer will kick into the winter pattern and this southwesters will start coming through you can see today's swell is a southeaster and so it's really short period on top of each other we've got a light variable wind for today which probably means it's going to go onshore by lunchtime i'll be surfing later uh, I think I only, we only surf for two and yeah so it's probably going to be shitty by then <laughs> but that's been the pattern for summer but yeah you can see the sand is still been freaking scarred back like this when the bigger swells come it's going to pull the sand back and then sort of cover onto the onto the uh, rocks I don't know what it looks like up at uh, supers but I reckon it's probably very much the same yeah I've been super worried about this uh, state of the beaches in this whole area and I was reporting on bruises so yeah this is just a continuation it's very easy to forget what this place used to look like this was last year and I'm really hoping that the sand's going to come back Charlie, let's go and check the guys at the contest sign the boys have got everything set up the generator for some power for the PA system morning Yeah, it's crazy man we've had such so much onshore the guys have had a two month waiting period for this comp and we finally had to pull the the trigger on it on uh, on the saturday so because of that a couple of guys couldn't make it because it's normally sunday and uh yeah it's uh we just haven't had an offshore day on a weekend for two months and uh yeah it may sound like i've been complaining but seriously the conditions have been unbelievable we just haven't had offshores and uh, just when I thought it was going to start going into offshore pattern it swung back and we've had a whole lot of onshores so yeah that's not good for the fishing either the zodiac's all sorted and ready to go but yeah the conditions just don't want to clean up but anyway enough pitching and moaning let's go and take a few pics of the guys and then put it all bit together I think, we got, I think we got the open men's semi in there now and man the swell's dropped off a lot it's going to be super tough very very tough later if uh, once the tide goes full it must be about full at about three which is around about when we get in but anyway yeah as predicted no one sure has picked up the tides come in well the bully got through the junior bullies division of over 40s a second so through to the final and also in the final for the the grand bullies But yeah, the surf's looking a little bit dismal. Uh, yeah, the onshore is really mucking it up now. We've got a pushing tide and the swell's dropping. So yeah, it's going to be slim pickings in the finals. But yeah, it's been a fun day anyway. Afternoon sessions, tides come in. We're just hanging around, going towards finals now. Pretty drying, just chilling out. Yeah, as you can see, the surf dropped off a heap. 
also have turned to porridge now unfortunately there's still the odd one coming through but wow man difficult <laughs> and getting more and more so as the tide comes in i've had a, got a couple of pics of the open guys i don't think it's going to be worth taking any of the other stuff just a couple of stills so i'll have to do but this one she was picking up and yeah pretty tricky this is dylan did really well Just took a cool chat with him walking up between his heats and I didn't have that camera with me. It would have been so nice to film that just, just the giraffe we had. He's taken the smaller waves but he's like super charged doing some really sort of progressive surfing. Just killed it. Awesome man. I'm gonna put you on the spot here, Dill. Come here, Tana. That was it. Well done, Tana. Hey, did you go for the set waves there? Or you uh, yeah, I listened. Yeah, I, I tried to get the last set wave. Yeah, we know. had a little chat. I, I, I knew I needed to score there, so. Yeah, no, yeah, listen. But, but I pulled through, I think, eh? Yeah, yeah, it looked good, man. Now you cracked it. Now, awesome. So I'm checking the new Smith surfboard yes, from Graham, eh? Mr. Graham Smith. You're gonna have to give him a call, eh? For sure. The hey? business, thanks so much. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Awesome, man. Well yeah, done. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, so these days aren't all about the bellies and stuff. It's about the young kids and bringing them up and teaching them a few values and, and like just trying to instill some sort of local pride and a bit of community. Yeah, it's all about bringing the young kids uh, into the fold. It's also about uh, getting together. This uh, community at Jobe is very small and we don't see each other much because everybody's doing their own thing. So the surf comps and when the surf's cooking, we all get together and have a good time. And that's what this is all about. All the local lighties. Had such a nice chat with Dylan up, walking up for, after his semi final heat because uh, he'd been going for inside waves. Which, I mean, he surfs super progressively. So, so um, yeah, I mean, he, he gets through his heats because he surfs that well. But I said to him, you know, just uh, go for slightly the bigger waves and you're going to, you know, make it through in the, in the final and he's gone and done that and he's won it so yeah it's always cool to like chat to the kids and like just pass some stuff on prize giving coming up very impromptu everybody having a lekker time sorry guys we are making things happen we're trying to grow the club get an inventory it's going to be sick uh next month i'm going to try to do a bit of a fundraiser i hope you guys attend because uh, it's the only way we can continue to grow and do cool things. I want to get sound, coffee machines, things like that. So I think that we can do it cool. next month. I'll tell you guys the details. Uh, then I also want to just say thank you to the judges, of course. Hey. Hey, uh, hey. Also, I want to win the bed final. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, and then I also just wanted to say, guys, it is really. Uh, it makes me really stoked to see a lot of the lighties from the other side of town coming this way. They are starting to serve really well. And I feel there's been a little bit of divide over the last few years. And if we don't want that, we want to bridge the gap and we want to get these guys in. And I mean, okay, well, I'm not going to, you guys know, like Dylan winning the Open Men Premier Division is like yeah. super sick. Yeah. 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 Bunch of stuff, but yeah, just thank, thank everybody and everything involved. Thanks, Remy. Thanks, Remy. Thanks, Remy. <laughs> <laughs>
And that's it, that's a wrap for the first JBA comp of 2024. Just a fun edit of our local comps. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next swell.